Greetings, guys. It is your host, Sonny, with Live Off Radio Network. I am so grateful to be able to come to you today and share another great conversation and uh, some, some 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 insightful things. You know, I I, I want to always give you an opportunity to connect with words of encouragement and conversation that hopefully makes sense to you and that you can relate to. For me, I'm actually uh, enjoying this time of year. It's my favorite time of the year, the fall. It is also my birthday month. And, you know, during this time period, I think for a lot of people, it's not uncommon to get to a space of reflection, especially when you know you're getting to uh, another year and in, in, in your own way maybe celebrating or recognizing another year on this earth and another opportunity. With that being said, it led me to, you know, really just kind of taking account of things that have been going on with me over the last six months, over the last year. And and I have always had this comparative moments of thought and reflection of, you know, how things are going for me from year to year. You know, am I obtaining and, and, and meeting the things that I set for myself to accomplish? Have I given myself enough opportunity to rise above or 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 advance from what goals or or standards that I've set. And, you know, today I just want to be very honest and say that for the first time in a very long time, I've, uh, I've, I feel, and and so let me start by saying this, I am a Libra, and, and I embody so much of the qualities of the characteristics of what most Libra traits are. You know, I, I will admit that. And I know sometimes some people do not believe in the astrological signs, the positioning of the stars, you know, anything that may coincide with that. For me, I have and always have uh, been heavily um, connected in regards to understanding um, that there is uh, this connection, and this is just my opinion, of, you know, there was a specific time that you were born, a certain position that things were at the, at the, at the, at the moment you were, you came in and took your first breath in the, in the physical earth, uh, as an individual. Um, and that time period represents a lot of things. There was most likely so many things happening and swarming at that time period that interconnectedly affects, you know, a lot of how our personalities develop. And even if you're not one to be big on astrological uh, or cardiology or psych- uh, psychics or uh, clairvoyance, there's so many various names that have been given and, and, and accounted for when it comes to uh, the the life beyond the stars and, 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 and our life cycles. So for me, I do reflectively think that it has purpose and that it has uh, a lot of truth in the regards to how certain people engage and how they act. A lot of times, even if you don't necessarily know a lot of heavy details about somebody, uh, there is a lot of times identifying markers that you can gather from knowing their date of birth, knowing the time that they were born, um, and, the you know, the, the, the actual uh, positioning of things that happened in that time period, and it, it, it follows them. It follows their life patterns. And so for me, I, I decided today that I wanted to make this conversation be about accountability. And for me, I know that um, I personally have had a lot happening. And I'm, I'm, I'm at a point where I'm learning to be more verbal towards um, those aspects, you know. And in doing that, uh, there's sometimes a lot of levels of uncomfortability, Right. The um, the truth of the matter is is that as, as individuals, we all have things that we should be recognizing to be accountable for, whether it's uh, being a, a parent or being a child, or a, a sibling, a spouse, or a peer, a, a coworker, an employer, whatever our positions are in dealing with, you know, other people in this world, uh, we should have some accountability for ourselves. Right, and how we engage and interact in those relationships. So for me today, I wanted to be outside, getting fresh air, um, listening to. So you're probably hearing a lot of uh, movement and cars and things behind me. I'm sitting outside of a coffee shop, and 
I wanted to just have my earth moment in in the same time that I was making this reflective, uh, you know, reflective uh, audio uh, recording for the podcast. Two things that, as of lately, um, has been really evident in my mind that it's important for me to just keep, uh, which I talked about this on the show uh, just a few episodes back about showing up for yourself. I think it kind of goes hand in hand with the aspect of accountability. And the more you're giving yourself accountability, you definitely have to show up for yourself. And it's a motivating factor that does not cease to exist. And that does not mean that, you know, I don't feel moments of, of uh, discouragement and, 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 and challenges. I'm, I'm, I'm all of that, especially right now. I'm at a, at a life cycle right now that's a transformative life cycle for me in so many ways. And because of that, uh, it has, it's, it's caused me to have to dig way deeper than I may do on a day-to-day basis. Um, that, in turn, has had me to slow down more. And, and I think anybody that has ever been in a space of reflection, especially about taking inventory of themselves, um, it can feel kind of uh, intense at times because, you know, our actions and, and the things that we're doing on a day-to-day basis is a, a constitute of who we are and how people are receiving us. Just yesterday, I was having a conversation um, with a few people in regards to uh, approach and, and 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 how people are conceiving one another and in and, and the relation of of people and 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 in in this, the bearing of it came down to, you know. Can I be accountable for myself when I've made or have not made good decisions that have affected me? Can I be accountable for the decisions that I've allowed myself to be in based upon trusting someone else or dealing with someone that may not have been um, working in a in a capacity that has allowed you know the the aspect of you to be received properly? Whether you're conscious conscious of it or not, and right now I'm I'm at this place of heavy inventory, you know, of of of, of just variation of things as a person, as a as a as a as an entrepreneur, um, as a a writer, uh, a producer. There's so many complexities that are involved in my day to day, so that requires me. Sorry about that. I wanted to mute out these sirens because, like I did, guys, I did tell you today I'm outside and I wanted to be outside. So we, we're going to have some of the, uh, the 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 noises and sounds of what life sounds like as I'm talking today, and I'm good with that because hopefully my voice is projected enough. And when I get ready to do the audio uh, engineering of this con- uh, this content, I'll make sure that uh, through throughout the uh, aspect of things that I am. Uh, able to be heard. Most importantly, uh, just to get back on task, I know that um, how we how we interact and how we present ourselves is a lot of times how people will take and make their make their decision or make their assumption of who you are, even if they don't have a complete overall lineup of you. Um, there can be times that people will make judgments based upon experiences or situations. And, you know, how do you account for that? You know, naturally, we can't, in the physical, um, have a complete control aspect of each and every person that we have interaction with. Because interaction now is not just in a physical. It could be online. It could be in a text message. It could be in a chat room. You know, it can be from uh, public opinion. It can come from media uh, outlets. There's just so many variations of ways that you can be communicated about or communicated through. And so for me, 
I'm paying attention more to like what is my message? What is my intention behind the message? You know, am I giving all aspects of what I feel to be relevant based upon how I'm engaging with somebody? Or what am I leaving behind that will allow someone else to be able to benefit from it? At the end of the day, for me, I I know that there's a space and time for yourself. And and it and, and it, and it, it 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 it's very plausible to give yourself um, full attention, right? At the same time, we don't live in a bubble, so you still have to engage with the outside world. You're still going to have other things going on at the same time that you're, you know, dealing with yourself. You know, and I'm I'm speaking on this because. Um, for me right now, this is my this is my this is my very much present reality, right? I'm in a space of rectifying areas of me that have either been uh, minimized, um, that may have been uh, misconstrued. Or just you know, overall maybe made bad decisions, or uh, sometimes I can definitely say that there's a lot of times that I I know that I've been misunderstood in capacities of of, uh, of interaction and engagement in personal and in business. So I'm 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 over here, like I was saying, taking accountability for how I move and 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 how I've allowed myself uh, to be presented. Can I tell y'all honestly that the truth of the matter is that for a, a good majority of these last um, 10 or 15 years, I've had uh, a whirlwind of 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 of, uh, of actions and, and accomplishments, defeats, disappointments, failures, uh, relationship changes. You know, business launches, business uh, shutdowns, you name it. You know, bankruptcies, um, business loss, um, fallouts with family or friends, or, you know, even have had some aspects of when I've had to um, do some reinventing. Like, even for myself right now, I think that I'm at that point of, 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 a, of a new type of resurrection. And... You know, naturally, these are things that we do as people. A lot of times, people don't recognize that just like animals that 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 shed their skin, we go through our own sheddings. The thing is, are you conscious of it when it's happening? Are you aware that you're in a point in time where you may be shedding? And so, at those times, it's so important to examine and establish what your imprint is going to look like going forward. So for me, I've actually been so much, um, I've been very intentional so much about paying attention to that aspect of myself. And I I know that coming out of these last few years of being shut down, uh, immobilized in a lot of ways, there's been a lot of time to, um, to think, to process, to look at, to 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 reimagine, right? And I think it's okay. It's important, man. I I I would I would be doing myself a disservice, honestly, if I think I would have continued with business as usual. I am definitely not the same person that I was a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. How does that look, though? That's going to be determined based upon what is gratifying for me. I can remember hearing this Tony Robbins piece talking about happiness. And um and and, and that was a disappointment or stress or something in the sense that you know that the bearing of your unhappiness comes from the aspect that in your mind you you have a, a thought or a a vision of what you feel you should be or do or, you know, should have obtained for yourself. Maybe it's some type of goal or some type of way of life 
um, some type of way of, you know, your financial positioning, just variations of things. And those areas where you're finding unhappiness is just an indication that um, you have not achieved what you felt that you were supposed to be at in that area. And so that causes the unhappiness. And, you know, hearing that really made me think uh, so much deeper. And, and and what was so dynamic about that statement is that that is the true, the true serum in regards to the core of, 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 of unhappiness and how you can turn that unhappiness around. Now, the deal is, do you challenge yourself to make the adjustment to fix the areas that you feel unhappy in? Once again, this is the measurement of accountability. The cool thing about it is the honest truth, guys, is that you can make a decision whether or not you want to make a change. You may be okay feeling where you are. I just know for me, I've had a lifetime of goals. I've had a lifetime of disappointments. I've had a lifetime of, of uh, challenges with different things because I've always worked to, to, to move myself into a better place, into a bigger direction. And hopefully along the way I've made um, some connections to others that have allowed them to grow. And in doing that, that in itself gives me a notion of me uh, growing. And, and, and actually taking the time to uh, leave my mark on the world. So when I tell you guys that I appreciate this uh, opportunity so much to be able to give insight. Uh, excuse me, I kind of had to <clears throat> take a pause there. I was choking. Um, I, I, I think that it's so important that we remember uh, how important it is for us to be aware of how we're relating and, and, and treating and handling one another uh, because that's all we got. We're not in a world of only, but it does start with us that can make such a difference of how the rest of the world looks, how it engages with us, how our future uh, looks. So now I just want to encourage you um, to do whatever it is that you can do best in finding your way to measuring your own accountability. I encourage you to to, to, to check in with yourself, right? And, you know, if there's things that you desire to have in your life that I, I pray that you achieve them, and I know from my own experience of, of, of working towards so many things in my lifetime, whether I've been in this country, another country, or um, working for somebody or working for myself or, uh, you know, the combination of it all, the ultimate thing is having a life fulfilled. And to, to have that life fulfilled, we have to make sure that we obtain uh, the measurement of how we are interacting and engaging in this world that we call society. So, you know, I'm working very much to, you know, drive home the points of, of, of conversation and keep it within a time frame that I can keep your attention, especially since it is just me talking. I recognize that, um, you know, it, it, it's important to be able to um, just share, uh, you know, just, just, just the realness of things. I'm not going to lie to you and say that, it's, it's easy to get on and, and, and talk about self because it's not. It's not always easy. Just like it's not always easy to deal with yourself, especially when you have been or dealing with challenges, right? So I, I know of anybody uh, how incredibly challenging it can be uh, to look at yourself and say, hey, yo, this is an area I got to improve. Or this is something that I got to, you know, change or fix. And I, I encourage you to... Uh, to do it, even if it's not comfortable, even if it doesn't feel good. I promise you it's going to be worth you doing it, and it's going to bring about a change in your life that can lead you to a greater place. So I wish you nothing but success and, and, and opportunity. And this is me signing off, guys. So until next time, we talk again. Uh, love and light.